Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguides.com. If you like Ruby, make sure to subscribe to the channel now so you can get more videos like this. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about the decorator design pattern. Decorator design pattern. What's that and uh, how is that useful? That's what we are going to see in this video. So let's take a look at this code. I have a class, it's called HTTP client, and it has two methods. What I want to focus on is on this method, the get method. This we proxy the get request into the client and we can use it like this. We can create the HTTP object, then we can call get and we get our output, our result. So this is a REST client response object. Now let's say, let's say that we want to add login. What kind of login? Well, we want to see the request we made. Maybe we want to save into a file all of the fail request or something like that. How can we do that using the decorator pattern? Well, I have this module and inside this module is called request request logger. And what this does is define the get method with the same parameters. So it is like this one. And it will be writing on the screen using puts this message. So it will be sending, it will be printing sending request to this URL. So this will allow us to see what we're requesting. This call also be a file, file write or something like that instead. But for this, we are going to keep it simple. And after that, this is important, we're calling super. So if you don't know what super is, I have another video about this, but the idea is that if we call the same method, get method on the super class. So we call this get method, which we call this get method on the client. So it is like we are putting some code in here, basically. This was happening. Now we can we can prepend prepend the module like this. Uh, now if you notice on the output window on the right, we get the output that we expected. We get the login message. But what if what if we don't want to log all of the requests. We only want to log some requests and some other requests we don't care about logging them. How we can accomplish that? Well, we are going to remove the prepend. And now instead of that, we're going to apply the decorator pattern. How can you do that? Well, we take the object, then we say extend and then the module name. So uh, what does this do? Well, this is adding the module just into this one object. So if we do that now, you can see that the first one, the first, the first uh, request, the first request is not printing, but the second is. So if I move this line up, you can see we get this twice on the output window. But if I move this below, it's only printing once, one time. And you could have different um, loggers. You could have like um, HTTP with login, something like this. Let me show you what I mean. The new, something like that. And then you can have two different clients without having to change the class. The class stays the same, but then you can add on top of 
whatever the class is already doing, you can add something. You can decorate it. That's why we call it the decorator pattern because you can modify, you can change what the class does and add something on top of it. It can be this, it can be something else like we can maybe do some performance login so we can see how long this method takes to run and maybe also lock that into a file and things like that. So you can do things after Soper, not just before. That's what I mean. And you can do this. So now we have HTTP with login and a regular HTTP. You can call this, if you want to be extra specific, HTTP without login. Okay. So that's the decorator pattern. You can have multiple of those if you want. You can combine them using extend. This could be instead of request log, it could be request performance, something like that. And in here, then you measure, measure the performance. And then you can extend like that. So that's the decorator pattern with a Ruby example. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like this video and I can make more videos like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below this video and subscribe to the channel so that we also help you get more videos like this and it helps me grow the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in another video.